Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. If I were you, I would study English harder. Would you like milk with your coffee? He would jog only during the weekends when he was young. I would like to visit Tibet one day. She would get to the airport sometime. They wouldn't go to school after the shooting. Even my little nephew would understand this. In this lesson, as you can see, we're going to look at wood. So stay tuned. I've decided to talk about the modal verb would pronounced like the material, would. And uh, is the past of will, as you can imagine. We use it for the second and the third conditional. And let me remind you that if you want to watch a lesson on the conditionals, you may click here. Now, contract it, it would be apostrophe D. Do not confuse it with had, pay attention to that. And wouldn't, would plus not. Then the base, the basic uh, sentence would be subject plus would plus the base of the verb. So let's look at when do we use would. First, for polite requests, preferences and questions. Like my example, would you like milk with your coffee? Would you like? This is very much used in English. Another example, would you like to go out with me tonight? And in this case, we have another verb after like, so we need to add to. Do not forget that. Now, the second usage or situation for repeated actions in the past. So when something happened repeatedly in the past, do not confuse it with used to. If you want to watch a lesson on this part of grammar, you may click here. He would jog only during the weekends when he was young. So, an action repeatedly in the past. Number three, to express desire or intent. For example, I'd like to visit Tibet one day, maybe. <laughs> Number four, used in stories to talk about the thoughts that somebody is having about the future. For example, she would get to the airport sometime. So this is a thought she had about her future. She would get to the airport sometime. Now, this fifth uh, situation where we find would, if used with not, to talk about something that happened in the past, it means that whoever we are referring to was unwilling or refused to do something. It's better the example to understand it. They wouldn't go to school after the shooting. So the children, after they heard the shooting, they wouldn't go to school. Now, this is attached to the second conditional. Let's look at the sixth situation where we find would. To indicate certainty in particular circumstances. For example, even my little nephew would understand this, would. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we looked at the modal verb would. Would is the past of the verb will. We use it with the second conditional and the third conditional. Don't forget would have for the third conditional. I've listed six situations where we can use would. The most common ones are habitual actions in the past and polite requests and offers. That's it for today. If you like my lesson, please share it and subscribe to my channel so that next week you'll get a new lesson. 
I have to thank you so much for all your comments and all your suggestions. And uh, maybe what I would ask you this time is to write your own example using wood with one situation or another. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and see you next week with a new lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.